it's fun, it's drama, it's real. But you'll only find out if you come in at this. As neighbors Jen and Angie fight their way to a healthier life for themselves and their families. Brought to you by the Heart Foundation of Jamaica's Food Policy Program. So come in at this right now. Patrick, how your shirt looks so hang pan here, man? That's how it fit. You can't got the people them work first day look so. Well, I'm not even doing more and go any work, you know. Yeah, I know. After me lick out about the sugar treats, me go work for one of the big men them in the business. It's not your fault, you know. If you could have done otherwise, you would. But things really tight now, man. And with the children them going back to school. It's hard to feel good about your job when you know, believe night, you know. If the man was even uh, make icicle with the fruit juice tonight, but so so sugar. What if you could convince the boss to do that? Me if you go say, yo boss, you need to change up your business, you know. You would have tell me, you change and become jobless again. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> little more. Alright. Oh yeah, call Mr. Early now. That's not how you answer phone. Them in no say you. Where you want me to say? Hello? Hey, Patrick, gonna work? Yes, but me not trouble. The TV station did call for asking if I can do them social media live stream tonight at 8 o'clock. <sighs> then I got to talk about the sugary drinks and the tax. <laughs> so what the problem? With all of what was I got done with Patrick and the job, I forget to tell him. About the program? Uh, box cover. What if my begging come fix my kitchen pipe around that time? Stop chat foolishness now, man. I can't do that. I got to tell him before. Sure. I'm a kitchen pipe really want to fix, you know. So Mimi said it, sir, are saying that it's our responsibility to keep our children away from these things, not yours? Well, I think that government should put a tax on those sugary drinks. Less people will buy them and it's not going to affect them other than them health will be better. And you, sir, will be forced to make healthier things for the children to drink. That's right, girl. Take it to him. You know what dealing with a family member who is diabetic is like, sir? Huh? The cost, the constant worry, the way them life have to change. It's me she's talking about. Let me tell you something, sir. As a ward assistant down at the hospital, I tell the many youths them who sick because they are obese and have to have heart surgery. Some of them will never have a normal life because of these sugary drinks and unhealthy eating. Now don't get me wrong, you know. Each of us have to be responsible for what we eat and what we give the youth them to eat. But we need more education of the public about the matter. And we directly need companies like yours to step up or be taxed. Go on, mommy. Yeah, uh, mm. <laughs> me proud of my friend, you see. Patrick, is what happened to you now? Well, me just finished watch my wife tear up my employer by live stream. As they say, what sweet you can sour you? Is Patrick's brand new job in danger? Join us again for another episode as the drama continues on Comina Dis, brought to you by the Heart Foundation of Jamaica's Food Policy Program. What's in our food? Give us the facts. Welcome to the Comina Dis episode summary brought to you by Lake Health and Wellbeing. Today is Patrick's first day on the new job but he's not excited at all because to earn well-needed income after losing his construction job, he's forced to settle working for a big company that produces the same unhealthy sugary drinks that he refuses to consume or feed his children. Patrick is frustrated. It's hard for him to go to work for a business that he just does not believe in. On the other hand, Jen has a live interview with a local news station after her protest in the last episode. We hear her talking about government putting a tax on sugary drinks to influence manufacturers to make and sell healthier products. Jen highlights the challenges and pressures associated with caring for relatives with diabetes. She talks about the cost, the constant worry, and the lifestyle changes that must take place. As a ward assistant, she explains that the young people who consume these sugary drinks end up at the hospital already obese and in need of a lifetime of treatment. She thinks that there needs to be a lot more public education about the dangerous effects of consuming sugary drinks, and she calls on manufacturing companies to step up to reduce the sugar content in the, their products or bear the cost of taxation. Jen's family is supportive of her public advocacy for more education, product reformulation, and sugary drink taxes. But what do you think about taxing sugary drinks in St. Kitts and Nevis? Do you think consumption taxes would work to deter consumers from purchasing and consuming unhealthy sugary drinks? 
In addition to more public education campaigns, how do we get our major manufacturing and brewery companies to make products with less sugar? Just think about it. To replay this episode and follow the other episodes in the coming of this radio series and episode summaries, find us at youaresweetenough.com. Until next time. Share some love, tell somebody you're sweet.